How many times do we have BSN film you? Twice? We've done leg day? We've done leg day and we've done sh chest. Mixing up my pre workout. Two scoops of amino acids. Oh, man. Roll your sleeves up. Roll your sleeves up. Yeah. That's what I do. That's what I, I train. I'm a manager here at the Athletic Factor Gym and Fitness. This is Flex's home gym. It's a good atmosphere here. Um, there are no attitudes. Uh, it's a no frills club. It's a gym. People come here, they work hard, they go home. I've trained with a lot of different people in the past, but um, no training I've ever done has been the way Flex trains. He's, he's really into uh, really, really, really high volume. Um, just absolutely engorging the muscle with as much blood as possible. Like uh, most of our uh, exercises, we perform um, like 30 rep sets and um, we'll do partials, holds, full range of motion, um, you know, and all of that to be compiled into one set. Like I said, it's, it's much different from anything I've ever done. Like for example, we'll do 10 to 15 reps, full range of motion, then we'll do partials uh, for 10 to 15 reps, and then we'll do holds for 10 to 15 reps with some negatives. And um, I mean, it doesn't take much weight. At the end of that, you're absolutely spent. And, I mean, you've got some of the sickest pumps, you know, you can ever imagine. So today, again, uh, I'm not gonna set off to do any PBs or anything else. Just gonna do a, a regular workout. Um, we're just gonna um, pretty much put some blood in the, in the muscle, keep the muscle nice and full. Um, just do some drop sets. Nothing, like I said, nothing crazy. Uh, you know, the, the, the work has been done in the off season. Now it's just pretty much now the fine tuning. So tonight Neil gets in at seven o'clock. So as soon as he gets into town, it's pretty much autopilot. So it's great then for me to just switch over and he'll dial me in the last, uh, last two weeks. So um, as of now, again, got to this point doing a, uh, a variety of different changes to the diet so again he comes in fine tunes the last 10 days and uh, I didn't have to think about anything the sets reps are all up to him so last work will be before the boss gets in five come on go one two higher three four five short one two three four five one two three four five good I got a philosophy on, on a couple of different things you know, I work fundamentally with uh, the Y3T principles and then I do my adaption of, of the Y3T as well when I'm on the road. Um, plus I do another variation of my own thing mixed in with Y3T as well. So, um, and a couple of, um, of my philosophies of, of uh, training that I've had since uh, I was a teen. If something's getting deep into the muscle, uh, and it's actually hitting hard, then why do the conventional three to four working sets and move on to something else? In this particular situation, you know, three weeks ago, we done the exact same machine and uh, we weren't having the, this effect from it. Personally, I wasn't. So we've already done three working sets, you know, and I'm gonna continue to do maybe another three working sets in this only because it's hitting that hard today, then, you know, why go off to do a variated motion of, of, of side raise and not get it as direct as this, you know? So, um, I'm a big believer in stimulating the muscle from different angles, but in this case, you know, we're hitting this uh, with um, three motions, you know, uh, one with a, with a high ho slight hold, one with a, with a, a, a fast, power motion and then a small small range of motion at the end you know get that blood in so uh, definitely hitting hard today and uh, I'm enjoying I'm enjoying the workout more and more as, as time goes on coming your little energy sapped again being around a good training partner and getting into what I call my Toys R Us being around my weights is picking me up about three 
high carb day. Got my weight plummeted. So Neil pretty much filled me up. And uh, I was uh, probably a little drier two weeks ago, I would say. Two weeks ago I was a little drier. But I was, my body weight's a little higher, but uh, what happened was I had a massive crash because we manipulated some carbs and we added in some night cardio. So we, we put the carbs back up, took the night cardio down a little bit less and, um, and, and basically my, my body weight is sort of like level itself off now. So um, my body weight's a good body weight for being you know, two weeks out, and uh, again, you know, the, today is not the day of the show, so that's that's what I got to keep on reminding myself, because again, I've been a lot drier two weeks out of other shows, but my body weight has never been this high also, so Neil's, Neil's fear is losing too much weight, and now we've got an early weigh-in this year, the weigh-ins on the Wednesday, it doesn't, it doesn't have uh, the detrimental aspect of me coming in at uh, 210 pounds or depleting all the way down to 208 pounds to have one day of carbon up like the Arnold, like the Olympia of last year. So this year we've kept my body weight as high as possible, pull it in the last couple of days, weigh in early on a Wednesday, carb back up. Come on, finish it. <laughs> Come on. <clears throat> No pain, no pain. Get through it, come on. Come on, Flex, dig deep. Dig deep, come on. Let's go, good, good. All the way up, all the way up. Come on. Good, good, good. Come on. Halfway, halfway. come on, finish it, finish it. Finish it. Come on. Come on. Come on. Nationals. Come on. Think about it. Come on. Think about it. Yeah, buddy. Come on. Come on. Breathe now. Breathe. All the way through. For the first, first ten are high. Above the nose, by the forehead. Second, uh, pretty much regular. Chin height, straight in front. The last is a quarter, and when you're coming up, you you lock onto the bar and you squeeze as hard as you can. There's a small fraction pause, and that is the killer. You don't have to to train with another competitor. You don't have to train with the best bodybuilder in the world. And what you need to do is have a synergistic training partner that you have chemistry with. You get into the gym every day, he's got his goals, I got my goals, and as long as there's, like I mentioned, a chemistry, then, you know, you can you can achieve anything. I've, a I've trained with training partners who have no aspirations, no have no aspirations about competing. And I've also trained with training partners who are top level. And myself and you might not have been training for this whole Olympia prep together. And, uh, you know, he's, he's one of the best training partners I've had because not only is he consistent, there's no excuses. He does the reps, he never moans, he's here on time. And like I said, there's a synergy with his boss, the chemistry. And I'm lucky that he competes too. So, you know, he's got his goal to turn pro, and I've enjoyed the process of seeing him. Put about 10 pounds on since we've trained together, and that's a lean 10 pounds. Come on, Flex. Good, man. Good. Finish the set. Finish the set. Come on. 
Keep going. No pain. No pain. No pain. Oh. Drive! Oh. Yeah, there we go. No, compose yourself. Go, go, go. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Whatever the chips may fall, I know that nobody's trained harder than us both for this show. And uh, he's going to continue to make a progress as, as am I. So I got my goals at fire and stopped. I got a legacy to make and he knows that too. So, and he's on his path, you know. But uh, I'll be long gone before he gets in the 212 class. <laughs> that's, 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 that's the only rule. Let me have my reign and then you can have yours. <laughs> Bye-bye.